Hello everybody, this is our new show with the Swiss artist Beat Soderer. You might know from a number of previous shows we had with him and we are very happy to have opened this show on the occasion of the famed Berlin Gallery Weekend. Please follow me into uh, the show, into our first space, which is here with this uh, largest painting we are showing in our first space and which already um, kind of defines and reflects the title uh, of the show, which is called From Disappearance of Color into the Lightness. Um, unlike earlier uh, paintings by Beard, the colored grid you see here is not the last layer, which would be very colorful, but it's the layer underneath, which is covered with other layers of white paint. So you see a number of sections where the real color um, is in the back and the white is in front. And this is what is, he's interested in right now, in talking and thinking about light within his paintings. On the opposite side, we see another very new uh, painting by Beat Sudere, which is based uh, again on a geometrical construction, but as you can see, it's uh, about dots. So we have a first layer of hand-painted larger dots, uh, colored, which are underneath, and then we have smaller dots, uh, which are above and next to the larger ones. But in the end, there is a grid of white color, again with dots, above the entire painting, which has painted by hand before. So this is kind of one of the most painterly paintings by Bayard I have seen so far, which you might know uh, was known in former decades of being a painter without painting. But now there is a lot of painting involved in this type of the new paintings we are looking at. Now we are in the second space of the gallery, which is actually our office space. But this space um, has the largest in terms of the widest wall of the entire gallery. And that's why I asked Beat to install a very large painting here, which you usually would not expect in an office space. But here we do have the possibility to show this very large painting by Beat Soda, which is 190 by 360 centimeters. As you can see, it has a different design compared to what we have seen before. Um, these are all trapezoids which are connected. So the whole painting is called Trapezium and it has a subtitle which says Arlener Diptych. Arlen is a city in Germany and the museum in this city has had a very big uh, solo show on Beat uh, on view two years ago. Um, of course, this type of design is not only interesting in such a very large dimension, but also in um, smaller, more regular pieces. There is one which you find across or opposite of this one on um, the other wall uh, of the office, which you see there behind my desk. Actually, this is a very nice and decent size, and I like this other trapeze to design very much. Before we will finish our video tour with a real highlight of the show, I would like to show two other pieces to you which are exceptional. And one of these we find in this little space behind me. So please come and follow me here so that I can show this a monoblock called piece to you. It's part of a series of works which all come in the same size and they are all piano lacquered, but the material underneath is not stone or wood, what like everybody would uh, guess it is, but it is a high dense plastic material which comes in different colors. And so these works are very, very big fun to everybody. When you follow me to the last space, um, we pass one of his other works, which you easily recognize as uh, an of this work group of the very first one in our tour, overpainted in part in white, but coming in a very different size, very vertical. So we are heading towards another trapezium and turn around to the piece I would like to 
point out. This is called resten. It's the English word would be just rests. And actually these are stripes which he had used before for another painting and which have become reused and just being attached to a sheet of paper which then gets framed. As you can see this is a very lyrical and poetical work by Beard, which I think is very, very cute. I love it very, very much. At the end of our tour, we are um, approaching the real highlight, highlight for me, um, but also for many visitors. We do have two of um, these so-called Rasta Aquarelle. Uh, translated, probably it would be grid watercolors. So you now, looking at the front of it, only see a white grid in front of a white background and you feel that there are shadows, so you have an idea about three-dimensionality and you see a bit of coloring in the back. But the real thing you only see when you move, like you do it now, to the sides and see the edges of the boards which are colored in different colors. This is not painted. This is very important to know because all of these boards are entirely colored also on the surface. So Beat Soda had covered these surfaces with white foil to reach out to receive an just white board, which then went to a workshop who CNC routed these boards according to his design. Then after that, these individual boards get combined to this one work on a white background and produce this illusionary three-dimensional space which is called a painting or even a little wall sculpture. It is very difficult to um, really say what it is in the end. There is another piece from the same work group which is a completely different kind of appeal and this is the white grid in front of the black background. Here you don't see any shadows, any shadows of color, just the white grid. So if you wouldn't know, you would think it's two-dimensional. But again, we are looking at the same thing. Colored boards where you see the edges, which then float in front of the black background. I think that both things work very well, but they have a different approach to one's eyes, to one's feelings and make a different sensation in the end. Now we are reaching the end of our tour and the very last piece I would like to show to you. It's um, acrylic on a paper and it is actually the piece which um, was the reason for the title of the show which you have already learned. And here you can see how the colors really disappear behind the white overpainting and make only a very, very light and dense um, attraction on your eyes. And of course, the very best way to experience art in general, but especially with pieces like that, is to see it in person. So, if you have a chance, please come by. The show will last until June 24th. If there are any questions, please reach out. We are always here and ready to help you. Thank you very much.